What's up, guys? Um, today we're going to talk about um, one of the critical elements of the ACT English and the SAT writing. Um, and that is clarifying vague pronoun references. Most of the time, um, it is best to not be redundant, but there are situations in which pronoun references are used such that it is impossible to determine what is actually being described. Um, so bear with me, we'll go right into it. Read this example problem. After struggling to load the disc onto the tray, Billy Bob noticed that it was very dusty. Um, it is impossible to determine what is it. Are we talking about the disc or the tray? Um, there really is no end to this. So the only solution here, um, unless you were to rewrite the sentence altogether, which is another alternative, is to replace the vague pronoun reference with a clear noun. As you can see here, it's um, colored in red. So here, uh, we know we are told that the tray was very dusty. Now, on the ACT English and SAT writing, it's not your job to, to determine what is actually very dusty in this case. But the point here is to illustrate the importance of determining or clarifying that vague pronoun reference. So when you look at these underlying selections, a lot of times these vague pronouns, pro pronoun references are also used in the wrong uh, form. So that's another thing to note. Um, so if there's a clear noun there and it is logically coherent, then that's probably the correct choice. Let's get another example. If the fans get too rowdy at the games, limit the number of them. Again, who or what are them? Which sounds kind of weird. But what is them, right? In this case, I just went ahead and said fans. So, again, it's not your job to determine really who is them. Because in this situation, it's impossible to tell. But again... The point here is to stress the importance of replacing vague pronoun references with clear nouns. Um, again, rewriting the sentence altogether is also fine, so long as that is uh, grammatically correct and, and coherent. So that's really all there is that I wanted to touch on.